So the, uh, the, from this question, we are asked to write the electronic configuration of the following elements, then state their block, group, and the period. We are going to write the electronic configuration of all these elements. We will now state their block, their group, and their period. So solution to the question now. Number one, I have lithium. Lithium. Lithium is LI and the atomic number of lithium is 3. So first of all, we write the electronic configuration. The electronic configuration is 1S2 and 2S1. If you add 2 plus 1, that is 3. That means the electronic configuration of lithium is 1S2 and 2S1. I've answered the first part of the question. That is the electronic configuration. Then the second part says I should state the block. Now, for me to know the block, I've told you I've been issued that the block of element is where the last electron entered. The last electron here entered in uh, S orbital. So the block is uh, S block. So this element is under S block. Then the next one is to state the group. The group of this element. This is S block element. And the way to know the group of S block element is the number at the last S orbital. This last S orbital is carrying 1. So the group of this element is a group uh, 1. This element belongs to group 1 because the number on the last S orbital, the, the number of electron it is carrying is 1 electron. So the period, period is the integer, the number at the back of the last uh, S orbital. The last orbital ever is a uh, s so the number at the back of it is a uh, two that means that the period is uh, two that is the answer to that one so we go to the number two question the number two is sodium first of all we write the electronic configuration of sodium sodium atomic number of sodium is uh, 11 so that is going to be 1s2 2s2 2p6 3s1 if you count this electron, it is 11 in number. 2 plus 2 is 4 plus 6, 10 plus 1, 11. If you look at this, we have written the electronic configuration. Then the next part of the question says we should state the block. The block of this element is the uh, orbital, the last electron is found. The last electron is found in the S orbital. So the last electron entered the S orbital, which means the block of this element is S. This element is an S block. So the next is the group. The group of this element now is the number of electrons the S is carrying. The number of electrons that the S is carrying here is a one electron. So this means that this element sodium belongs to group uh, one. And the next one now is the period. The period is the number at the back of the last uh, S orbital. This is the last S orbital. The number at the back of it is 3. So it belongs to period 3. The next one is uh, potassium. 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 Okay. Atomic number of potassium is uh, 19. So that is 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, 3s2, 3p6, 4s1. If you add this to this, this is 10, this is 18 plus 1, 19. So this is for the potassium. Now the block of potassium is still S block. It is S. Then the group is the number on top of the last S. The last S, the number here is a 1. So this is in group 1 as well. Then the period, the period is the number at the back of that last S. The last S, the number at the back of it is 4. So the period is a 4. So this is the way to get the group, the block and period for the S block element. Then the remaining ones, boron, carbon and uh, aluminium is for the P block. So we can also continue those ones. We continue with them. Boron. 
atomic number of boron is 5. If you are counting the elements in the periodic table, you say hydrogen, helium, lithium, beryllium, boron. So boron is the fifth element. That, that is why the atomic number is uh, 5. Then the electronic configuration will be 1s2, 2s2, and 2p1. If you look at this, we have 2 plus 2 will be 4 plus 1, which will make it uh, 5. So this element now is a p block element because the electronic configuration ended in a p orbital. So the block of this element, the block is a p block. Because the electronic configuration ended in P. Then the group, the group of this. Remember the way to get the group of uh, P block element is the sum. Sum of electron in the last S and the last P. That is how to get the group. For the P block, you have to add the electron. But if it is S block, uh, you don't add the electron. It's just the electron in the last uh, S or beta. But for the P block, you have to add the two electrons, the one in the S and the one in the P. That is now going to be 2 plus 1, which is uh, 3. So boron belongs to what? Group uh, 3 in the periodic table. So the period, the period of this is the number at the back of the last uh, P or beta. The number here is 2. That is this. So number five question, we have uh, carbon, carbon. Atomic number of carbon is uh, six. If you write the electronic configuration, that is 1s2, 2s2, and 2p2. This carbon now belongs to P block because the electronic configuration ended with P. So the block now is a P block element. And the group, since it's a P block element, anytime you are dealing with P block element, you add the electron in the last S and last P. So the group for the P block element will now become 2 plus uh, 2. The electron in the last S and the electron in the last P, you add two of them together, that will give us 4. So this uh, carbon belongs to group uh, 4. And the period is the number at the back of the last uh, P. The last P here is uh, 2. The number at the back of last P here is 2, which means that the period is uh, 2. Then the next one, which is aluminum. Aluminum, AL, atomic number of aluminum is 13. The reason is 13 is because the number of protons in aluminum is 13 and also the number of electrons in aluminum is 13. You know an atom is said to be electrically neutral when the number of protons is equal to the number of uh, electrons. But an atom is said to be charged when the electron is different from the number of uh, the protons. If it is uh, some, sometimes it can be positively charged as a result of loss of uh, electron, it can also be negatively charged as a result of a gain of electron. So Aluminium now, the electronic configuration is uh, 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, 3s2, 3p1. Now, if you want to know the block, the block is P, because where we ended the electronic configuration is in P, because that is where we reach and the electron finished. So wherever you reach and the electron finished, that place becomes the word, the block. So the block of this element now, is equal to P, P block. Then the group, since it's a P block element, you add the electron in the last S and the electron in the last P. That is going to be 2 plus 1, which will give you 3. Then the period is the number at the back of the last P of beta. The number at the back of last P of beta is 3. So that becomes the period. So that is the way to get the electronic configuration, to get the block, to get the group, and to get the period. For other questions and answers, you can see them on the uh, exercise session and uh, the other aspects. Thank you, sir.